Hello, Internet. Uh, ben here with another Mysterious Space update and my face. <laughs> Sorry, I made a crazy face there. Um, real real professional setup, as you can see. Sorry, that probably makes it sound crazy. Um, I just don't have a proper, like, clip-on microphone. I should get one of those at some point. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about um, donations again. So, last May, I... yeah, yeah. Last May, I started selling Mysterious Space on Steam. Um, it had been being sold on itch.io for a little bit, I don't remember, but no one was paying attention, right? Um, but it got greenlit on Steam, and I quickly realized, you know, oh yeah, I'm going to make money. <laughs> what do I do with this money? Um, and I knew I wanted to pay DDR Kirby ISQ to make music. Um, I don't know if I had actually gotten in contact uh, with him at that point, but, but I knew I was going to want to pay someone to make music, and possibly someone to make uh, graphics, although I... Apparently, I've decided against that. I don't know. I, that could still change. But regardless, I knew there was going to be much more money than I could, you know, possibly be spending on on these people. Um, no matter how amazing I want the, the graphics and, and music and everything to be, so I I really I don't know. I decided to donate. Right? I decided to donate all the money to, to charities and nonprofits and other things. Um, and part of that is because I have run a web game before. And sorry, just adjusting my. Uh, my camera there. Uh, I've run a web game before called SciPets, and when I started making money, it was a weird, I don't know, it created a weird conflict of like, 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 okay, I want to make this thing, and I want people to pay for it because I'm trying to get money, but, but I would like lots of people to get it, and, you know, I, I, like, I would want everyone to get all the cool stuff I add, right? And, and, but if I want people to pay for this thing, it has to be cool enough that they pay for it, but not so cool that it unbalances the game, because it was a multiplayer thing online. Um, so it was just, I don't know, created weird problems like that, and I, and I didn't want to deal with any of that here. I also don't want Mysterious Space to conflict with my job. I, I mean, it's a job, and so it's hard at times, but I do like it, right? I like my job overall, and I'm happy with where I'm at, um, and I just didn't want any potential conflict there. So I thought, donate all the money. Donate all the money. That would be great. I, I have that potential right now, right? Um, and the potential has been 100% pro proven. Um, it was it was really slow going at first. Um, you know, when when Mysterious Space just got started, there were a couple sales here and there, and I was in a bundle, and, and I think that made a little bit of noise, but, you know, then I made a little money through the bundle, but no one was buying through, through Steam. Um, and I've been included in another bundle recently, and, and I don't know. I don't know what happened. In the last month, month and a half, maybe two months, I think more like month and a half, there's just been like a ton of sales. Um, there was like a ton of units on to, to Mac users, or maybe a Mac user. I don't know what was going on there, but Mysterious Space will not run on a Mac, so I was like, are they going to do a refund, <laughs> right? Like, what's going on here? Um, and I got invited to be in another bundle at, at Indiegala, uh, Indiegala.com, and I'm sure that got more attention, but again, I would think that that would just mean there'd be sales through Indiegala. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was, a, it was a perfect storm of things or just an accident or it's because of Christmas or, or what, but there, were, there have been a ton of sales for Mysterious Space recently. Um, like, I think a good three quarters of the sales ever for Mysterious Space have just happened in the last couple months. Um, and, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's not surprising. Mysterious Space has only been selling for... When was May? Was that, I don't know, month numbers? It was some months ago. It wasn't that long, right? I mean, it hasn't even been a year. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's mysterious to me, but it's just me. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a business person. Um, I'm not interested in being a business person. If I was, I probably wouldn't be donating, right? Um, I just like to make this game. And so things happen, and I go, cool, weird, but cool. And, and I think that's good enough for me. So, anyway, what's the point? The point is, more sales recently... So many that I like. I need to figure out who to donate to, um, and I'm hoping that you guys can help out with that. So, I have finally donated to JAXA, the Japanese Space Agency. I do not remember what JAXA stands for, and I feel embarrassed for that. Um, I get the see, and now I, now I'm unsure about saying this, but I think JAXA is essentially Japanese, uh, sorry, the Japan's NASA, but that might not be true. Like when I learned about the Planetary Society, first of all, it was like. I didn't know that this existed. How did I not know this existed? I love space. I've, I've taken astronomy classes, you know, back in college. It's always been a thing I've interest, been interested in. Um, how have I not heard of the Planetary Society? Uh, and second, I was just blown away by the things they're doing, right? They've got a uh, their solar sail. Is it a satellite? It's probably a satellite. Anyway, it's up there, and they're, and they're 
doing science and I was like, well, you know, there's other agencies or, or, or organizations within the United States that have space stuff. I'm, it was just kind of weird to me. I, I never really thought about it that hard. Um, so, I mean, maybe JAXA is kind of like that, you know, maybe they have a, a bigger space agency. I really have no idea. Um, but what, what drew me to JAXA was that they had a solar sail uh, thing going on. Um, I Again, I keep up with astronomy a little, <laughs> apparently not, not as much as I thought. Um, and solar sails are just one of those cool concepts that I was like, oh man, people should totally be looking into this and there's someone trying it, I, wa I want to support that, absolutely. Uh, so I aimed to donate to JAXA actually is the, like the very first thing. Um, again, I'm going through the categories of space, health, education, and miscellaneous in that order and just loop through them over and over again. Um, and so space was at the top because again I love space and it seemed appropriate because the game is space themed, right? Um, so I tried to donate to JAXA, but their form isn't set up. First of all, it's all in Japanese, uh, and second of all, even though I can use Google Translate to figure out what their form wants, they wanted like a Japanese-style telephone number, which I could not provide, and they wanted my name in uh, kana or katakana. There's there's three character sets in Japanese, and it, and it always confuses me. Um, I, I know zero Japanese. Except for like you know bits I've picked up from anime or whatever, listening to them say things. Um, but anyway, so um, I, I couldn't get that done. Someone was really nice. Someone at JAXA, I think, hand put together for me this this PDF with step by step instructions, so showing all the things to fill out. Um, you know, with with the uh, katakana I, again. I think I could be wrong. The, the a version of my name in, Jap in Japanese uh, characters. Um, God, I should know, because because I recently have been doing the translation stuff for Mysterious Space and had to add support for Hiragana and Katakana, and I just cannot, can never keep them apart. But anyway, um, so yeah, someone put together this PDF and everything, but it took them a while to get back to me, and, and by the time they had gotten back to me, I had already committed to donating to the Planetary Society. Um, so I, I went ahead with it. I was like, okay, I got this form, but like... I've just been talking about to people how I'm going to donate to the Planetary Society. I hadn't yet, so I could have changed my mind, but it felt weird at the time. So I went ahead and donated to the Planetary Society. But here we are again. I've gone through all four categories. Space is, is up again. Um, and so JAXA, absolutely, I, I've donated to them just today. Um, $500, which came out to about 60,000 yen. Um, back when they wrote me this PDF, um, again, several months ago now, uh, they had suggested that 50,000 yen would be right, but I, I just asked Google, you know, convert between dollars and yen for me, uh, and I don't know if things have changed since they, you know, sent me that or what, but anyway, $505 and something cents. I wasn't going to worry about making it 500 exactly, um, especially since it was that close, but anyway, Jax has been donated to. Awesome. There is still money. You guys, people have been buying Mysterious Space, and it's awesome, and I hope people are liking the game, right? Um, I have seen a couple bug reports uh, and and troubling ones like this game crashes so hard steam freezes up and I've got to restart my computer and I'm like oh my god what have I done right I've created I've created a monster um, it looks it's now looking like it's it's probably something actually on on those people's computer um, but at the same time I've still been able to improve mysterious space by adding some extra little tools to help establish that it, it is their computer versus mysterious space and, and we could use those in the future um, and some, some extra options for that sort of debugging stuff. So all of this stuff is making Mysterious Space better. So whether it turns out to be my fault or yours, please please report these bugs. Um, I'm also really happy that, you know, there's been a ton of sales and everything, but Mysterious Space seems to be at this really kind of ideal size for me where I'm able to keep up with everything being talked about on the forums, and I really like that. Um, again, I've worked on a game before, uh, Cypets, as I had mentioned, and the community there got so big, and there were so many posts on the forums, I couldn't keep up. It was crazy, and, and there were so many suggestions and, and bug reports and everything. And, you know, Mysterious Space could get, could get to that point. Um, and, and then I'll feel bad again, because I won't be able to keep up with everything. But right now it's great. Everything that people are posting I'm able to keep up with, and, and I like that. Um, but if it gets bigger than that, we'll deal with that when it, when it gets there. Um, but but if you if you ever want to give feedback from Mysterious Space, now is the time. And I hope that saying that doesn't cause like a hundred threads, and then I go, <laughs> I've created a monster again of a different variety. Um, but anyway, oh, I've messed up my my already messy hair. Um, so Mysterious Space donations. Who to donate to next? I am on the health category, and I do have some thoughts. I'm really interested in 
and there's a name for this, and I should have Googled it, uh, but bacteria and antibacterials. Um, I, I don't know how much, you know, you guys watching have, have kept up with that stuff, but if you Google around on YouTube or, or TED, there's been TED Talks on this topic as well, um, people are worried about antibacterials not being very effective, and, and there have all already been, for a number of years now, problems where it's not cost-effective for companies to make new antibacterials. And they have to because bacteria adapt and they become immune to our antibacterials. Um, and now they're just adapting so quickly and it's, and it's so hard now to find an antibacterial that will work that it's just not cost-effective for a lot of businesses. They go, yeah, we could spend millions of dollars or whatever uh, researching this antibacterial, but it'll only be good for like a couple years and then it won't be good anymore because... I mean, the, the real nasty problems that you need them for are really hard to solve, and, you know, again, it's a, it's a kind of a smaller demographic and everything, but, but there, we've seen, I guess, resistances to more common antibacterials. And it, it's an interesting problem, right? It's the sort of thing where, I mean, when you read about the history of things, or even if you have appendicitis, as I had recently, right? I mean, there's so many uses for antibacterials. I mean, it has made surgery possible, because if not for antibacterials, People would cut you open, and then you'd be infected, and you'd die. Um, and that's what used to happen. So, I mean, antibacterials are, are miraculous. Uh, and, and so people really worry about what will happen if those are no longer effective, and, and we're starting to see those signs. And I guess uh, even the guy who, who initially discovered uh, these things, I think penicillin, right, was the first one of the first one. He was like, we can't overuse this, guys. And sure enough, what has happened is... We have overused them. I mean, it's in hand soaps all the time. There's no reason for your hand soap to be antibacterial unless you are truly working with, with nasty, nasty things. So anyway, we could rant about this for a while. The point is, if I had to donate, if I had to pick something related to health to donate to, it would be that. That is a, an interesting problem to me. Um, there are also interesting problems in food, um, and, and that seems related enough to health. I think, I, you know, you got you got to eat to be healthy, right? Um, bananas are, are maybe at, at risk. Um, there's a... In the, in the 50s, I think bananas basically got wiped out, and we came out with a new variety that is arguably less delicious, I guess, than what occurred before. I've never tasted a banana from before the 50s, right? I'm not that old. Um, so it looks like that, um, I think it's a fungus. Sorry, did I say bacteria? Um, whatever it is, it's is, it's been coming back, and it's been sweeping across Africa and wiping out all their bananas. And people are like, it's only a matter of time before it, you know, hops aboard a boat or a plane or whatever and, and gets to, to the Americas, uh, north and south. So, and it's, of course, south where more of the bananas happen. So um, people are like, whoa, what's going to happen with bananas? And, you know, maybe it's like the bacterial problem. Maybe, you know, and, and, and like the banana problem before where people put together the resources and, and say we've made a new, less tasty maybe again, but, but hardier banana um, maybe there are certain kinds of bananas, you know, I don't know, are plantains and other things affected? I really have no idea. Um, so I don't know. There's, there's interesting problems like this going on uh, today, and I think it would be really cool to, to support people trying to solve those problems. Um, and it, it is always hard to tell. I mean, people get excited, and they should, when, when these sorts of problems come up, when you're like, oh, God, surgery could be ruined forever, right? I mean, that's a concern, and, and people get excited, and it's hard to tell whether or not you know, will someone just make a crazy breakthrough? Will there be a genius like the guy who invented penicillin who, who goes, bam, we've got a solution and, and we're set for, you know, another however many years, another 50 years or whatever? Um, you know, or is it going to be a really hard problem that just takes a lot of work and, and a lot of resources and, and, and you can't know? And so I would love to support, <laughs> I would love to support that effort. And it is a little funny, this is totally a side note, but you know, we're doing these $500 increments, or, or I am, through, through the Mysterious Space Sales. So how much is $500 on these million-dollar problems? I don't know. Um, I try not to think about that. Um, I, I, I do think that this sort of stuff helps. And, and it is also a reason why I try to donate to smaller organizations where I feel like the 500 is a bigger deal, you know? Um, I could donate to NASA, but as much as NASA complains that they don't get enough money they receive more money than any other space agency in the whole world, any other country. They, they get tons of money. And I'm sure it's not enough, but they get so much. <laughs> I mean, space is a hard problem, to be sure, but if I have to pick who to donate to, you know, something like the Planetary Society, which, you know, is not receiving oodles and oodles of government funding, certainly not compared to other things, um, or JAXA, uh, you know, just another country who just has a smaller budget. 
um, I feel like the money is going to go a little a little further there. So, you know, same thing here. I, I don't know if the CDC, <laughs> you know, is dealing with this problem or, or is eligible to be donated to, but there, there might be other places as well where, where $500 might make a bigger difference. So I have not researched that yet. If you guys have ideas, that would be awesome. Um, I think that's really all I have to say about that. Um, I, I do want to thank, again, everyone for for playing the game and giving me feedback. Um, I'm really looking forward to making more updates, right? I'm, I'm not done. I've been working on this for uh, since since May, uh, and I'll be working on it as long as it is fun to do so. And the, the lightning thing that I added recently, which I worry most players aren't going to really encounter in most playthroughs, um, but implementing that whole new lightning system, even if the graphics are a little weird, right? It really proved to me that Mysterious Space is a good, it's like a capable platform or, or engine for adding more mechanics and, and different mechanics and crazy mechanics. And I would love to continue to to expand Mysterious Space um, and really get it to to where we can really have some of that emergent gameplay that roguelikes are really known for. And, and I think that's where roguelikes really shine is in that emergent gameplay uh, yeah, in that emergent gameplay. I thought there were more words there, but there weren't. That emergent gameplay. That is where roguelikes, to me, have always been really cool. Um, you know, it's the the random generation for sure, but the random generation goes toward that emergent gameplay. It's, I you know, this is a new situation. I've got this bizarre array of tools that interact in interesting ways, and and you can get those inspirations where you're like, oh my, oh my God, this is the perfect time to. I don't know. I can. He's in the water, or, or I have this wand that, that doesn't do anything but creates water, but I'll put some down some water, and then I'll use my other wand that makes lightning, and now I zap him, and you just come up with those cool sorts of solutions in a roguelike, and Mysterious Space just doesn't have enough mechanics in it, I think, right now, to, to make some of those things possible. I think we're seeing the beginnings of it, and the lightning thing for me really showed me, yes, this, this can absolutely be a, a thing that Mysterious Space is awesome at. Um, but it's just not there yet, and so I, I, and I'm really excited to, to bring it there, though, so I, I, I definitely no plans to stop now. And there's so many things that I've been talking about wanting to do for so long that, that still have not been done, like bosses, which um, a co-worker of mine who's been uh, taking a bunch of AI classes, um, I think it's, is it a graduate program? I honestly don't remember. I should ask him about that. I'm a bad friend and co-worker. I don't know. Um, but he was talking about making bosses that would learn how the player moves and, and look for patterns and how the player moves and adapt. And I was like, we, we were talking about adding that in Mysterious Space, but he just is so busy with school and a family and work, and that's all understandable, so I, I don't hound him about that. But bosses of some kind are still a thing I would love to put in Mysterious Space, and, and I've been talking about it, I realize, for months and months, and it, they're still not there. So... No shortage of things to add to Mysterious Space. I, I will be working on Mysterious Space for many more months, I'm sure. Hopefully for years. I would love to. Um, I ran Mysterious Space... Sorry, I ran Cypets for seven years? I think... I can't remember if it was seven plus like two years where I wasn't really, or if it was seven including two years where I wasn't really working on the game. Um, but, I mean, I, I, I like having a game where I can continually improve it, and Mysterious Space is that game. Um, if you've ever wondered when Mysterious Space will become version 1.0, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe never. We might hit 0 0.9 and then I go, 0 0.10, it's not 1.0 yet. I don't know what I would consider 1.0. Um, and every time I think, you know, I'm like, well, once I get bosses in and, and you know, this other stuff, then for sure I'll be 1.0. But now I'm looking at it and going, no, I need... I need this emergent gameplay stuff. I need more mechanics, and then we can call it 1.0. But, you know, maybe in a couple months I'll have done a lot of that, and, and it'll be something else where I'm like, no, I have to do this, and then it can be 1.0. It's, it's just hard to tell. Um, so, and I'm not worried about version numbers. I, I do know, though, that some people are, right? Some people have looked at the game and been like, oh, it must be early access or, or a beta or not complete, because um, it, it's not even version 1.0, but... I don't think it will ever be complete. I don't think it, it, it will ever truly be finished. Um, but I also don't... I wouldn't consider it early access, right? I mean, the game is playable. You can win. Uh, it is sometimes unfair, <laughs> and I recognize that. Um, and I'm continuing to improve those things as well. Um, but people are winning, and, and it's really good to see that. Uh, the achievements show absolutely that people are winning in a variety of ways, which is, which is really awesome. So, anyway... Thank you for listening to all that rambling. It looks like I'm about 20 minutes into recording here, so I will be quiet. Um, just to summarize, let me know if you have ideas on, on organizations related to health that are, 
are, are worth uh, donating to, worth supporting. Um, continue to give me feedback on Mysterious Space. Please let me know. I'm uh, Again, I'm really happy that, that the size is such where I can read everything that everyone is posting right now. So take advantage of that while it's true. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to continue working on Mysterious Space. So thank you again, everyone, for buying and playing and listening to me ramble about these things. And I will keep you guys updated on the donations and everything else. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye.